What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am celebrating the 10th anniversary of One Direction. If you have been a part of my channel since the beginning, you may know that I am a very big fan of One Direction and was very upset when they announced their hiatus, but today is their 10th anniversary, so I decided to just put my own twist on it. I did look through several One Direction book tags that have been done in the past. The last one I saw was about five years ago and I just didn't think that they aged very well and a lot of book tags were mediocre and just didn't really fit with what I wanted to do. So today I picked some One Direction songs and I'm going to be pairing books with them. I hope you guys enjoy this and let me know your favorite One Direction song or album down below if you are also celebrating the 10th anniversary. Because I share my love for music regularly on this channel, I might be making this a series. During the first few years of my channel, I did playlist book tags. They have since been deleted or privated off my channel for my own privacy. And so I decided that I will probably start this as a series. So I'm going to get right into the video. Happy 10th anniversary to One Direction. They have been my favorite band for a long time. A lot of memories are attached with them. And they also introduced me to one of my favorite bands, Five Seconds of Summer. Before I get started, I want to mention that my description constantly has petitions. It is changing or adding. There are so many petitions to help LGBTQ plus youth, trans people, black trans people and the black people in our country who have been wrongfully murdered. There are many resources down below of petitions that you can sign to help the Black Lives Matter movement. Tony McDade has still not gotten justice. Breonna Taylor has still not gotten justice. And many, many black people that have been wrongfully murdered in our country have still not gotten justice. And I hope that everyone is still as angry as they were just a month ago. I just wanted to emphasize that and make sure that you are checking once you watch every one of my videos and you're still watching black creators constantly because they have expressed that it is not happening anymore and that is disgusting and really angers me. And I have a link down below to register to vote if you are 18 or over in the United States. Just click the link down below. It is so easy to fill out and please vote when it is election day. I also have links to LGBTQ plus news that is happening in 38 states conversion therapy is still legal. So we need to get that number down to zero. So please be educating yourself. I also have a link down below to indigenous and native creators. There is a whole list that Brody created and I suggest that you go and check all of them out because they have been talking a lot about how we can do better for the indigenous and native people in our community. So that is all I wanted to just remind you of. Pause this video right now. Go to my description, sign a petition, and then hit play because we need to continue our allyship. So I really hope that you are continuing your allyship. Please vote and wear a fucking mask. Let's get to the video. The first song I have is Long Way Down and this was just a freebie basically. I had to include this and I am pairing this song with Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This is about a boy named Will and it is set during the duration of his elevator ride. His brother has been shot and murdered and he is going to find the killer and eventually shoot him. And he is taking this elevator ride and he gets advice from people from his past and it is an excellent read. It is so short and it is very impactful and I highly recommend it. <laughs> the next song I just had to do this and this is Story of My Life and I am going with Stay Gold by Tobley McSmith. This is about a boy named Pony. He is transgender and he is going stealth at his high school. He ends up meeting a girl named Georgia who is a cheerleader and this is just a great representation of me as a straight trans man and I just really enjoyed this. There is trigger warnings for gender dysphoria. The main character binds. He does have a trans hate crime happen to him and he also has an unsupportive family so there is constant misgendering and a lot of transphobia going on but it is challenged. Also depression and suicidal thoughts. Pony is the first character that I've ever felt represented by. This is an own voices book. Tobley is a trans man and I absolutely love this book. It is the first time I have felt represented completely in a book as a straight trans man and I love this book so much. I highly recommend it but please do look out for the trigger warnings. 
The next song is Where Do Broken Hearts Go? And for this, I am going with When We Were Everything by Ashley Woodfall. Ashley is one of my favorite authors. This book is told in Then and Now, and we are trying to piece together why Layla and Cleo are no longer friends. This is also an own voices book. Ashley Woodfolk is a black woman, and this is a great book about a friendship breakup. There's also representation for a speech impediment as Layla has a lisp, and this was just a spectacular book about a friendship breakup, and I feel like that is something something that we're not seeing a lot. I hope we're seeing more of it in 2020 and further on because it is definitely a topic that needs to be addressed. There is a full cast of black characters. There's a Korean character and there's also a sapphic romance in the background. I just loved this book. I love Ashley Woodfolk and I highly recommend this book. Next is the song History, and I'm going with a queer historical fiction. This is Like a Love Story by Abni Naziman. This book is set during 1989 in New York City during the AIDS epidemic. I had to stop filming for a little bit, and now it is thunderstorming, so hopefully you can't see that, but in the middle of my filming break, this happened. I just want to know what that's about. I just want to know what that's about. It says you and me got a whole lot of history. That actually ties into the book that I was just talking about, and that is Like a Love Story by Abni Naziman. So this is a historical fiction. It follows a Iranian boy named Reza and about his internalized homophobia, and this is kind of his coming out story, him coming to terms with his sexuality, that he is a gay boy, and this is just a very powerful book all about the AIDS crisis and about what it means to be an Iranian person and it's just such a different perspective on a queer identity and I just love me a good queer historical fiction. It's one of my favorite genres. This was just such an impactful, beautiful story. The author did a great job telling the story of Reza living during the AIDS crisis and how he felt about his own sexuality and just how it felt to be gay during that time. It was just scary. It, this was just such a great story. It's very gripping and heartbreaking, tear-jerking, but it is a beautiful book and I highly, highly recommend it. The next song is Change Your Ticket, and for this I have a middle grade, and this is Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga. This is an own voices story about a 12-year-old girl named Jude. She flees her home country of Syria with her mother, leaving her father and brother behind, and she deals with so much Islamophobia, racism, and culture shock. She's just learning how to adjust to this new culture and this new country that she's never been in, and it emphasizes on ESL classes, and I absolutely absolutely loved that because I feel like it's not talked about enough. It does happen with kids who don't speak English as their first language and I just absolutely loved that. And Jude is a theater geek. She loves theater and talks about how she learned English through theater and she just has all of these aspirations and I absolutely loved this book. Trigger warnings for racism, hate crimes, and Islamophobia, but I absolutely loved this middle grade and I highly recommend it. This is also also written in verse. I listened to it on audio and I would recommend the audio, but I have seen it beloved physically as well. Next is a song off of one of my favorite albums. My favorite albums are Four and Made in the AM, and this song is Made in the AM. And I am picking a book that is set during like a 24 hour span, and this is The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. This book is set in an airport during New Year's Eve, and it follows a girl named Rin who is still grieving the loss of her best friend. Her best friend Lottie died in a car accident, and the anniversary is coming up. The last thing she has left is a text message on her phone that is unopened opened and it is a grieving process for her and this is a great dark contemporary about grief and I now want to just reread this book. This book shows grief in a different perspective. That's what I love about dark contemporaries and books about grief because everyone grieves differently. In this case, Rin is holding on to a text message from her best friend. It is the last text message she's ever sent her. It also talks about her going to therapy and working through her grief, and it is just a really great book. It is set during winter, and I really recommend it. 
The next song I have is Through the Dark and I'm going to be recommending Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. This is the theme song to Felix Ever After because there is a lyric that says I know you want to be loved. This is about Felix Love who is a black queer demi boy and he talks all about wanting to fall in love for the first time and just not feeling worthy. Being in three marginalized groups Felix is dealing with a lot and he is also dealing with the fact that his mother left him and he just just has a lot of guilt and just doesn't have the confidence to believe that someone will fall in love with him and I resonate with that so much being a trans person. The next song is I Want to Write You a Song and for this I am choosing a book about music and this is The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. This is her debut novel. This follows a perspective from three different teens and they're all dealing with grief in their life and they're all connected to a band. Music is heavily influenced in this book and I really enjoy the way that it portrays grief. Like I said with the case of Standing Still, everyone grieves differently and that definitely shows in this book with our three main characters, Autumn who has lost her best friend to a car accident, Logan who has lost his ex-boyfriend, and Shay who has lost her twin sister to cancer. I love books that connect all of the characters together so all of the characters here are connected to a band and it is just an incredible book about grief. Like I said, I love me a dark contemporary so I highly recommend this book. The next song is Girl Almighty and for this I am choosing a book with a strong female protagonist and I have to share Star from The Hate You Give. This is about a black girl, Star Carter, who witnesses her friend Khalil be shot by police and she uses her voice. This is all about her using her voice. This is a great insight into police brutality. I love this book and I will always recommend it. Star is such a strong female character. This talks all about racial injustice and it is an infuriating read but it is a must read and I also recommend to read a non-fiction book after this. I highly recommend this book but I do want to say that this is a work of fiction and so I hope that if you're going to read this you're not going to just read it and say that you know all about police brutality and racial injustices because that is not this book is not going to teach you everything you need to keep learning. This is not your fast pass at learning how to be anti-racist. It's not going to teach you everything and you just need to keep learning and reading non-fiction books which is what I am also doing. The next song I have is They Don't Know About Us and for this I have You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. This is about Liz Lady who is a black queer girl and she has lost her mother to sickle cell disease and is living with her grandparents and in front of her eyes she is watching her brother deteriorate due to sickle cell disease. She is in her senior year of high school and she is all ready to go to college until she learns that she doesn't receive financial aid to go to her dream school which is also her mother's alma mater. The last and only thing she can do is to enter her school's prom competition. Every year they offer money to the winning prom queen or king and Liz enters because that is her last hope at getting into college and paying for her tuition. It is such a fun ride. I absolutely loved the competition aspect and it follows a female female romance this is sapphic as fuck and I really really enjoyed it. Everyone has been raving about this and I am just hopping on the train. The next song I have is Don't Forget Where You Belong and for this I am pairing it with Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. This is a book that I read in June and absolutely love it and have not stopped thinking about it. This is about a girl named Simone who has been living with HIV since birth and was adopted into a family of two gay men. I love her dad so much. They are so overprotective and great. I really loved the family aspect of this book which is why I'm pairing it with Don't Forget Where You Belong. And this talks about theater as she is directing her high school's production of Rent. Rent is one of my favorite productions and I really enjoyed that aspect and was just so hype. Her two best friends are bisexual and an ace lesbian and it does talk about asexuality and I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed this and the talk about HIV is so important especially in a young adult novel so I recommend this book 
And the last and final song is Walking in the Wind. I interpreted this song as talking about grief, so I had to recommend a book about grief. And this is The Lucky Ones by Liz Lawson. This is about a girl who lost her twin brother to a school shooter at their school. She ends up meeting a boy who she comes to find out his mother is on the case of the school shooter, meaning she is on his side. That infuriates her and it talks all about her having PTSD. It also has music involved and it talks about addiction and grief and alcoholism and I just really enjoyed this. We don't have enough books about school shootings and I really enjoyed this one but major trigger warnings for depression, grief, loss of a loved one, alcoholism, addiction, and a PTSD. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy 10th anniversary to One Direction. Let me know what your favorite song or album is down below and I am just going to be eagerly waiting to see what their announcement is and I hope it's not trash. Follow me on all my social medias if you want to keep updated with me and my music tastes and my live reaction when the news is announced. I am so excited. I don't know what it's going to be but I am excited nonetheless. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time.